cum ex what? Okay, first let's briefly explain the word. In this case, we're talking about share deals that take place on the day of dividend payouts, as well as shortly before and afterwards. For investors, a dividend is a sort of share in the profits of the company in which they are shareholders. In Germany, it is taxed at 25%. Cum ex deals became popular in the early 90s and were part of the largest tax scandal in German history. A game of deliberately creating confusion between banks, investors, lawyers, and the government. But what's it all about? Here's an example. Three investors join forces. Adam Apple, Boris Branson, and Carmen Clifford. Adam holds shares in a large corporation worth 2 million euros. One day before dividend payouts, Carmen also buys shares for 2 million of the same company, but she buys them from Boris. Confusingly though, he does not yet own them at all. This is called short selling. Then the corporation distributes its dividend payouts. Let's say in this case, it's 100,000 euros for Adam, but he only receives 75% of the money. The remaining 25,000 euros go into the German treasury as capital gains tax, for which he receives a tax certificate. The share's ex-dividend worth is now only 1.9 million euros. The next day, Adam sells his shares to Boris. Boris pays with the money he's already received from Carmen. He then hands the shares directly over to Carmen, who's already purchased the shares through short selling. But remember, it was 2 million euros that day. This means Carmen receives an additional 75,000 euros from Boris, and on top of that, a tax certificate in the amount of 25,000 euros. Then, Carmen sells her shares back to Adam. Now everything's almost like it was before. Except, in this scenario, the tax office has only collected capital gains tax once from Adam. However, Adam and Carmen can both receive tax refunds from the government under certain circumstances. In total, 50,000 euros. The three investors divide this money amongst themselves. Because of the cum ex deals, the German treasury is suffering a multi-billion euro loss. How is this possible? The title of a share is already transferred to a buyer upon purchase. Because of the short selling between Carmen and Boris, at the time of the dividend payouts, there were two shareholders. Plus, finance and supervisory authorities, thanks to outdated systems, could not retrace who held the shares at what time. Banks, lawyers, and investors claim to have conducted legal trading and that they only made use of tax loopholes. German politicians, however, had long neglected to close those loopholes. Only after a while was legislation adapted on a regular basis and a new financial system created to stop cum ex trading. Legal proceedings are now supposed to determine whether cum ex deals are punishable offenses. If the answer is yes, Adam, Carmen, and Boris, from our example, would have to return the tax refunds they received.